I got no issue with our effort from our guys. They, they've done pretty much all season besides one game where they just played. They give you every ounce of energy and, and effort that they can give you. Uh, but it's just, you know, we, were, we just struggled scoring. And, and when you struggle scoring like that, um, you know, it makes it really, really tough. And, and obviously, you got to give Georgia credit for that. But, you know, for us, that's just been one of our, our things for, for the season. And we got to continue to, to find solutions to, to help us on that. And uh, we'll keep, keep attacking that and finding a way to <clears throat> help us try to get some points on the board. Uh, you know, obviously they did a great job on the offensive glass. Uh, that was a big thing. I thought defensively we did a good job other than the offensive glass. Um, but again, the scoring part of it, you know, if I, I told our staff if we can hold them in the 50s, defensively we'll win the game. And we real, and we did hold them in the 50s. At the end there, obviously they, you know, they, they, they got the, we were fouling and they got the end one. But in, a, in the main part of the game, you're probably in the 50s. We just, you know, I thought for sure we'd get to at least try to get the 60, and, and that was the difference. And just not being able to score really, really, you know, hurts us and, and, and puts us in a, in a tough spot. So credit to Georgia, uh, our our young men, our, our young men gave every ounce of energy they have, and uh, and this is all going to be part of the learning process as 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 we rebuild, as we move uh, forward in the uh, you know in the rebuild. And um, um, and there's gonna there could be other as we move forward there could be games where we where we have other struggles like this. But as I told our, our team and uh, I and I truly believe this that that we'll continue to grow and get better. Um, and but this is part of, of us finding ways to try to uh, do what we need to do to come up with ways to score as myself or my staff here in the short term uh, as we continue to move forward in these games. It's, it, it's hard for us when Todrick and Quinton are combined two for 14. It's just, you know, we don't have a lot of, we're limited, so we don't have a lot of options on that, and that, that makes it tough. Um, and so we need Quinton and Todrick to, to step up and, and put the ball in the basket for us. And, and, um, and when they're not, that's, that makes it hard. Quinton's effort, I mean, he's, he's giving you every ounce of energy he has. I mean, he's, his floor game has vastly improved. He's trying the best he can. He's just, you know, I felt today we got a little bit stagnant in some of the things offensively when we maybe try to force some actions and, you know, the shots weren't going. We missed some, you know, easy layups, and all of a sudden we try to press and, 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 and as in terms of pressing me mentally and trying to get it all back at once. And, uh, um, you know, we'll just have to continue to, to get better. And, um, and we need Todd to score as well, too. If, if he's not scoring, it puts us at a, at, a, at, a, at a severe disadvantage as well. Do you feel their interior defense was a big factor? Well, I mean, Georgia's a good team. I mean, they're they're a good team. They're well coached by Coach Fox. Uh, it's just uh, it wasn't as much as their interior defenses. We just we missed we missed a lot of shots. We missed a lot of layups. Um, uh, and they're and, I mean, listen, their their bigs are good and, and 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 they're well coached. It's just when you can't score like that or you miss those layups, it just sucks the life out of you. You know, and you're trying to in the huddles tell the team, you know, and you're trying to get them picked up and um, and and. and just, we just got to find ways, other ways to score. And the best way is in transition in offense before the defense sets. That's some easy opportunities. We, I didn't feel that like we did a good enough job on the offensive glass as we have been because that gives us another way to score. With the amount of shots that we missed, we should have been getting more offensive rebounds. Um, and, we, and, and so those two areas, we're not capitalizing enough to find ways, other ways to score based on our, some of our you know, limitations offensively. Yeah, no, they, they they kicked our butt on the offensive glass. There's no question about that. I mean, but look, we held them to 37% from the fields. I 16% I, from three. I told our kids and our staff before the game, we hold them in the 50s, we'll win the game, and we literally did. It was just I didn't think we were just going to score 43. Um, so that's a credit to Georgia and uh, to their defense, and that's a um, you know an area where we've obviously has been you know an area of our weaknesses this year. On that, we've got, we've really gotten better defensively. But an area for us offensively is just trying to find ways to score, especially in the half court. When teams, when it becomes some areas of the half court, we've got to find ways to score. Uh, I also want to just say on the crowd, I thought the crowd was outstanding. Um, you know, uh, I really feel awful. I know how important this game is to, to uh, Georgia Tech 
and then I wanted to win so bad for Jacket Nation and and um, uh, but as I said in the in the radio we're going to get it back uh, you know we're going to this is as this rebuild happens uh, here in a short amount of time as we continue to put recruiting classes together I want that building to be filled up like that all the time that's the vision you know minus the Georgia fans but the vision is having the the Georgia Tech fans in there filled up. Uh, to see their team play night in, night out, every time we step on the floor, and that's the vision. And, I, and we're going to get there. Uh, you know, th this is the year, as I've always said, this is kind of the year to, to get us, in, in, in a sense, because as we continue to build, I, I, I really believe in our vision and how we're going to get there uh, as we continue to, to move forward, and, and especially, you know, through recruiting and everything else. So, but for, for just for focusing on tonight, um, uh, you know, like I said, it's just uh, uh, give credit to Georgia and, and – um, they, they won a good game. Were they, uh, you mentioned the transition and getting points out in that race, were they kind of better at that? They, back, back they did a good job in transition defense, but I felt like like Josh, Josh O, you know, we had a couple times there where we're flying down and he tries to knife through the defense when they're already set and we got a turnover too. But some other times, you know, I just felt we got stagnant and, um, you know, we're, we're, we got a little, I like to use the word paralyzed offensively. Um, and, and, I, and I said that, that was the number one key is we cannot get paralyzed offensively. Um, and we did. We just, we did, we did today. I didn't tell that to our team. I told that to our staff. I mean, and we had a good practice on, on Monday and um, we moved the ball well. And I just felt we, we, we gave the ball a headache again tonight or, or, or massaged it too much. We just, we, we, we let it stick and we weren't moving and we were very, very stagnant. And uh, we, we were very paralyzed offensively. And, um, um, and part of that is based on some, you know, there's areas when you don't have maybe because of our shooting percentages, teams are able to really sink in. And so you're trying to cut and move and things are clogged. Um, and that's where that innate ability to find ways to score, even just as an individual. We've got to continue to try to improve our, our guys here in the, um, <clears throat> in the short term. And we've got to try to just find ways to individually improve them to, to, to make shots, create an own shot, score the ball so we can open up some other gaps offensively. Was the intensity level of the rivalry or just the rivalry overall, was it kind of what you were expecting coming in? Yeah, you know, I mean, I mean, I, I know how important this game is to Georgia Tech. And I'm, I, look, I, I've only been here for, you know, a short amount of time, having been here a full year, but I, I consider myself and I, I wish I could get an honorary degree from Georgia Tech. You know, I'm, I wanted, I'm part of the culture. Uh, I know how, how important this game is to, to, to Georgia Tech, to Jacket Nation. And so, um, uh, you know, we just, and, and maybe maybe it was based on the crowd at home. Our guys played in the very stagnant because this is the first type of crowd they played in front of at home. And I don't know if it was the and I, the hype of the game. I, I don't know, but we were just offensively we were we were, we really struggled. And you got to give Georgia credit on that. I want to make sure Georgia gets credit for that for them defensively. Uh, but we've got to just be better offensively. I mean. We, we played good enough defense and had good enough numbers to, to win the game. We just, when you're scoring 43 points, makes it awfully hard. Seems like Matthews, two for three, 12 minutes. How has he been practicing it? Uh, you know, he, he's a guy that can score a little bit. He's just got to, you know, he can make some shots and stuff. Um, um, and, and, you know, as part of our, we talked about in the staff, do we look at him a little more? And we're just, you know, it's just, again, I, I don't know if we need to overanalyze it. You just, if Q's Quinton's 0 for 9 and Todrick's 2 for 5, and just makes it hard. And you miss those layups. I mean, we had a lot of layups right at the rim we just missed. I mean, it just makes it hard. I mean, we can sit here and overanalyze it, but there's not a lot to do on that. We just, based on our roster, guys like Quinton Stevens, if he's 0 for 9 and Todrick's 2 for 5, it's going to be hard for us in that night, in that game, unless we're playing on just an awful opponent. And we don't have any of those the rest of the year. It seemed like it was just tight. It probably wasn't. It, it probably wasn't a, a pretty game for TV or for either. You know, it wasn't. But Georgia won, so there it, you could never have a bad win, even if it's ugly. Uh, obviously, for us, it was an ugly game. But uh, um, uh, you know, that's just that's just part of the game. Part of it again is just I, I can't stress enough just us offensively. We've got to, we've got to be better. Um, we got to make those shots, guys. Those seniors, those guys are going to have to. Juniors are going to have to put the ball in the basket for us.
were you good with the shots that Quinn was taking? I talked to Quinn about this after the in the uh, locker room that I felt some of the shots were he didn't let it flow within the offense. He resorted back to kind of what he was doing at the very beginning of the year. He got out of that the last few games. He really let it come to him, and I felt today he tried to, you know, be you know. I told him this: you, you're trying to do things on your own, one on five, and he's just not as effective on that. Um, you know, he's done. He's improved so much on how hard he plays and doing other things than just trying to be a standstill shooter. And I thought today he resorted a little bit back to that. And maybe it was, again, the hype of the Georgia game and, and whatever. He was just trying to do it all at once. And um, and, and that's just not his game. He's, that's just not who he is. And if he just stays within the system and lets it come to him, uh, that's when he's at his best. What will the primary focus be um, tomorrow? Well, I mean, listen, we got we got we play on Thursday, and I told the guys we can't let Georgia beat us twice. I mean, we can sit here and we you know we don't have time to. No one feels sorry for us. Um, you know, we got to get back on the floor tomorrow, and we're going to be really short. But we got to we got to win the game on Thursday. We got a good opponent coming in, in Wofford, who plays hard. They just won beat at Coastal Carolina yesterday, so we know we're going to have to give a great effort. We can't be you know any feeling sorry or sulking, or we got to find a way to get a win, and uh, we got to do that on on Thursday. What was the uh, I don't have the. I didn't look at the end of the game, but they beat us in the first half. They they beat us in the first half. I felt I felt the um, uh, Ken. I felt the uh, end of the first half. We had some. We were right there. I think it was 21-18, and then they went on that 6-0 run. Um, and then we had that one where Josh. We were moving, and Josh O threw it back to uh, Justin and and uh, Frazier stole the ball there and scored. That was a big play and. Um, you know, we just had some chances there, and even in the second half, I think we cut it. We had a, we, we cut it there, and all of a sudden, we missed a layup, and they came down and, and scored, and that was a big possession too. So, um, you know, we just got to find we got to find ways to put the ball in the basket. Just no other way to look at it than than that.